In this video, let's look at the commutativity of rational numbers. Okay, and first we will see addition. But what we mean by commutativity is something which we should understand first. Right? So what does commutativity mean? Commutativity means that if I have two numbers, okay, let's call them as A and B, right? And I perform any operation on them, whether it is addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. Does it make a difference if I put A first or I put B first? Or in other words, is A plus B equal to B plus A? Is A minus B equals to B minus A? Is A times B equals to B times A? Is A divided by B equals to B divided by A? If all these operations hold true, right, if the left hand side is equal to the right hand side, we say that the rational numbers are commutative for that particular operation, right? Let's say in this case is addition. But if that does not hold true, which means that the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side, then we don't say that they are commutative for that operation. So in this line, if you look at it, first let's look at addition. Rational numbers are commutative under addition, okay, which means that a plus b is equal to b plus a. So let's take two rational numbers minus 2 upon 3 plus 4 upon 5 right will the answer be same if instead of minus 2 upon 3 i have 4 upon 5 minus 2 upon 3 let's find out so we have 15 as the lcm 5 times minus 2 gives you minus 10 plus 12 or 2 upon 15 similarly here i have 15 3 times 4 gives you 12 minus 5 times 2 gives you 10 2 by 15. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side and we say that the rational numbers are commutative for addition. Now similarly let's see whether rational numbers are commutative for a subtraction and I take two rational number minus 2 upon 3 minus 4 by 5. Right? So effectively this 4 by 5 is plus but we are looking at subtraction so we are looking at that so the two numbers are minus 2 by 3 and 4 upon 5 so you get 15 as the LCM 5 times minus 2 gives you minus 10 minus 3 times 4 gives you 12 minus 12 minus 22 by 15 now let's see whether 4 upon 5 minus minus 2 upon 3 is also equal to minus 22 by 15 so you get 15 as the LCM, 3 times 4 gives you 12 minus 15 goes into 3 5 times, 5 times minus 2 gives you minus 10, right? Minus minus becomes plus, so this becomes 22 by 15, which is not equal to this. So we say that the rational numbers are not commutative under subtraction, right? Let's look for multiplication. Again, let's take two rational numbers, minus 2 by 3 and 4 by 5, right? If I multiply this by this, what do I get? I get minus 8 by 15. Now, would the result be same if I, instead of taking 4 by 5 afterwards, I just put this as 4 by 5 into minus 2 by 3? And what I notice is that the answer again is minus 8 by 15, which is equal to this number. So we say that the rational numbers are commutative under multiplication. And the last one is division. Here again, I will take 2 upon 5, okay, and 3 upon 7 as two rational numbers, right? Let's call this A, let's call this B. So if I divide A by B, I get 2 by 5 times 7 by 3. Just reversing this order, I get 14 by 15. On the other hand, if I divide 3 upon 7 into 5 upon 2, right? If I had to divide this by 2 by 5, I just simply took this as 5 by 2. I get 15 upon 14. 
which is not equal to this number right so we say that the rational numbers are not commutative under division